Hi everyone, this video will show the science education resources we have available in Drake Memorial Library. This page is available through your Blackboard course by choosing Library Resources in the left-hand column. It will take you straight to our science page, where the first thing you'll see is the search boxes for the NSTA journals. You can search all of the journals on the first tab or the specific journal for the age you're or the specific journal for the age you teach. Or you can search the individual journals Science and Children for Elementary School, Science Scope for Middle School, and the Science Teacher for High School. There are two links here. The first one will let you browse the journal. On the right hand side, you will see all issues and you can open and look at a specific year and then a specific issue. So if you wanted to see what happened over the summer in Science and Children, or if your SBTE says, oh, you need to go look at the July 2020 issue, you can navigate that way. The second link will allow you to search just this journal. On the second line, you can type your keyword. Since about 2008, articles in any of the NSTA publications describe activities in the 5e format. In my search for living environment, I can see that there are 19 results, and this works the same way as searching other EBSCO databases. You don't need to worry about scholarly or peer-reviewed, but you can limit your publication date by moving the sliders. If you're interested in a specific article, Click on the title to learn more. You can read the full abstract on this page and see the PDF on the left. A note of caution, never use the address up at the top of the page for any EBSCO database. Always use under tools the permalink if you want to get back to this specific article. EBSCO databases also have the feature of providing an example APA citation. Click the cite button in the tools section. Scroll down and we'll see the APA references. I can tell you right now this is wrong. Everything is in the right order, but the capitalization is wrong. And EBSCO warns you about that with this note right here. So be sure to consult our APA resources to fix your citations. If you scroll down, you'll see the Picture Perfect Science series. We do have ebook versions of all of the Picture Perfect Science books, and you can click on the book title to navigate. Once you're on the page for the book, you can choose Read Online or choose a chapter. Once you choose Read Online, you can run a keyword search within the book using the search bar on the left. I've chosen Chapter 6 in this book to find an example title. And you will see the featured picture books, and now we need to find out if Drake has that picture book. So I know that it is the handiest things in the world, and I can highlight it and then choose copy. I then want to highlight and hit either Command C on a Mac or Control C on Windows to copy that text. I go back to the library page and I choose Curriculum Material Search. Paste in that search right in that top search box and click Go. It appears that we don't have this item in the Juvenile Collection, but don't fret. Simply reset the filters and it will search course reserves as well. And here we can see that this item is available at the reserve desk. To request the item, click on the title, sign in using the yellow bar, and then choose Place Request under How to Get It. Double check the information and choose Send Request. At this point, we will pull the book and get it ready for you to check out. We'll send more details via email. If we would like to see if that book is in any other library in the world, we can scroll down on the Juve Collection search page and search WorldCat. This shows us every library that has this book, and I can click on the title to find out which libraries hold that book. When I scroll down under Check Availability, you can enter in your own zip code or leave it at Brockport, 
and you'll see which library systems own this book. The Rochester Public Library is the Monroe County Library System. So if you live in Monroe County, but not in Brockport, you can click over and see which locations specifically have the item. And here I can see that the item is available in several public libraries. Be sure to contact each library before going to pick up the book to determine what their procedures are. Lastly, I want to show you the Citing Your Sources APA page on the Curriculum Resources Guide. We have some links for APA 7th edition. New this year, we are pointing directly to the APA style site, as well as to the Excelsior Online Writing Lab. We find that those sources are a little more friendly than the Purdue OWL. Scrolling down, we have templates available for APA 7th edition. And below that, we have certain citations that are of use to you. For example, we have the Next Generation Science Standards linked so that you can copy and paste.